we're going to do a brief video on forward stock forward stock analysis and we've got a daily chart up here for you a Ford Motor Company with a five-day moving average in green a 20-day moving average in red and a 200-day moving average in blue again this is a daily chart this tiny little spot right there is today's pricing and as you can see it's gapped down a little bit it'll probably come back up but uh, right now it's the low for, is $12.32 Ford is down about 4% on volume of 12 million shares and it's not yet 10 o'clock normal daily volumes 64 million shares so it's trading like crazy today you'll notice Ford came up here it's in a bear market below the 200 day moving average bounced off of the 200 day moving average here and uh, back in August 16th and it's firmly in a bear market so it's hard to understand by looking at this daily chart what's going on I'm going to show you two other charts in a minute that'll clear it up Ford is essentially in a free fall here because there's no support until we get back down to its low in July, July 5th at around uh, $10.61. So they're just selling it because there's nobody stepping up to buy it. And it's past a 50% retracement point. It's below the, the 200, below the 20, below the um, five moving average. But let's take a look real quick at the weekly chart because it's interesting. If we take a look, this is, a, this is the same thing, a 5, 20, and a 200 bar moving average, but now we're on a weekly chart. If you look at this chart, you can see clearly there's support here on a weekly basis at 1061. And that's back in July. That's that July low. On a weekly chart, you can see we have a moving average right here. And today that moving average is about $11.12, right? Roughly, it's a little higher than that. And so that's going to be a major support level for this stock. You can see it already bounced once. If it goes through that, Here's our next support level all the way down here at roughly three something high high threes. So this is going to be a major support level, in my opinion, for entertainment purposes only right here at this eleven dollars and uh, eleven cent level. Again, let's just call it eleven bucks so that you can see we're having a tremendous sell off this week. But that's what the target is. Let's go to the monthly and see what it looks like there. And you can see the same thing right here at about ten, uh, about the same thing, about eleven dollars and and let me put it right on there at eleven dollars and fourteen cents. Uh, you get support. Now it's bounced off once, went through just a hair a couple weeks ago. Uh, excuse me, this is a monthly chart now. Um, back in July, so that that July is a very important low of ten dollars sixty one because it's caught support there not only just in and of itself, but because of the two two hundred day or two hundred week or two hundred month moving average this is a 200 month moving average we're looking at here this blue line so that's a very important um you can see we oscillated all the way through here all from the 50 from the 2015 all the way down here to 2018 it was trading up and down across that 200 month so that's an important support level so i would say that, that uh, ford could test its lows at ten dollars 61 cents but we should get a bounce off of that. There's no guarantees. This is all for entertainment purposes only, but we should get a bounce off that. And you'll especially notice that the 20 month hasn't rolled yet. Now these are slow. Let's go back and take a look at the 20 week. The 20 week is flat. The, the 25, uh, the five bar for the weekly is rolling down. So there's a ton of negativity on this chart, but there is support uh, on a weekly at 11, on a monthly at 1061 and so forth. So, you know, if you put a target at this somewhere between 10 and $11 for a downside worst case uh, scenario, I think it might be reasonable. Again, all for entertainment purposes only, but that's my opinion right at the moment. Um, we should start to see some slowing down of selling right here in the 1150 range if we're going to get a bottom put in here and then a rally back up uh, to this. 14 level which is entirely possible 14 14 50 by the end of october if we catch support right here at this 11 uh dollar level 11 dollars and, and 15 cents that we're talking about let's see what rbam research says about it today we do cover this stock at rbam algorithmically we covered the low is 12 dollars 26 cents the highest 12 dollars 44 cents let's take a look it's got a buy on it at 12.44 and up so it's it's uh, has not hit its buy prices yet it's trading below the buy prices and you can see this is one five and 20 day entry points these are not trend following these are algorithmically generated they come out every morning before 7 a.m and they're out for friday here the 23rd uh today's the 23rd uh again buy today hold uh, till the next trading day so this would be monday afternoon close out at a loss or take your profit as soon as you got it same thing for the five or the 20 buy in the 20-day column 
uh, take your loss within the 20 trading days or take your profit as soon as you get it. So that's non-trend following. Let's go down and take a look at the trend following system that our band puts out for YouTube users only. It's not on our website, but it's uh, available here right this second. 30-day trend following uses moving averages. You can see it's got short at 1324. So it does have a short signal for Ford but it hasn't hit the, uh, the short price of 1324 yet. So that's what we've got for you both from a, from a moving average perspective and in a quantitative analysis perspective. You can get all of the stuff that we have available up on our website absolutely free, no credit card required at rbamresearch.com. There's a link in the description below. Every morning before 7 a.m. we cover 190 plus stocks, the major Forex pairs, BTC crypto, and the most liquid futures. Everything but the stocks are longs or shorts and the stocks are longs. And again, absolutely no cost, no credit card required. Just follow the link in the description below to sign up with your email. You can uh, click the like button, please, if you like this video. If you want to subscribe to get some more of these, please subscribe. If you have any comments about anything you've seen or heard on here, please leave it in the comment section below, especially about our use of moving averages. We'd love to hear some feedback. And keep in mind, everything you've seen or heard on here, including my commentary and the entry prices, are for entertainment purposes only. You can't use them for anything other than entertainment. You should always do your own analysis and you definitely trade at your own risk. Thanks for tuning in to RBAM Research.